Cool, 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 cool. Many of us may find ourselves at home right now. Maybe we thought we would get things done, but we're not doing them. I have a solution. You already know that from the title. The rule is simple. Just say you're gonna do a thing for 10 minutes. Everyone usually has 10 minutes. But a little is better than none. You got this. Give it a try. I'll show you me trying it because watching people try to do stuff can be fun, especially when they fail. Now there's some things that I've been meaning to do that I just never do. So I decided this week to just do them 10 minutes a day. Write a story. Story. A book. I actually don't know what it's gonna turn into. Write a song. My band, Driftless Pony Club. We're working on a new album. We'll clean the garage. We have this dumb garage box problem. Can you explain our garage situation? Bought this house last year. We've done a lot of changes and updates that has translated to a lot of boxes. Did I fail? Let's see. This is the first barrier, deciding what to write. I have come across what I think is my best idea, and it's intimidating. So many obstacles to making it good. Half a page. I've already decided I'm gonna start it differently, but that is progress. We're working on a new album. It's about female scientists of history. I've been tasked with writing a song about Ada Lovelace. I've been sitting on this for so long, not doing anything. Now that I know it's just 10 minutes, I am doing something. Ada Lovelace's Wikipedia article is quite big, I'm halfway through, but I found a thing. When she was a kid, she became obsessed with flying. Did a lot of research to figure out how to fly, like birds. That might be what the song will be about. We'll see. Why haven't we cleaned it? Because it's cold and it's in the garage and you don't see it that often. We have that recycling bin, which is usually full of our weekly recycling. And so we don't have room for this stuff. Uh, the first thing I think we're gonna need to do is move this countertop. And go. go. Oh, time's up. We got a little done. Tomorrow. Think, think of what we'll get done tomorrow. Psh. Okay, don't think of it. I decided to do a time travel story, which I'm now remembering why I have avoided, because time travel stories are filled with plot holes. I gotta start over. Ten minutes. Easy peasy. Oops. And I feel like writing more, but I'm gonna stop wanting more so that I will come back to it rather than dread it. Still in the research phase, I'm gonna finish and pick up the guitar and noodle around for a bit. I got some parts I've stowed away for an eight a day. Wikipedia page is pretty long. I'm still not done. Charles Babbage referred to her as the Enchantress of Number. I like that a lot. I think that might end up being the name of the song. The way the shears are on that cord right now, that doesn't seem... It just seems like bad positioning for... Three, two, one, go. So let's go to the Our toilet smells like poopy diapers. Our I mean, our dumpster. Well, time. Like each time I'm like, oh gosh, we're not gonna get anything done. But then we do. So I've been thinking a lot about this story. And I, if I hadn't started, I wouldn't have thought about it at all. I feel like I could keep going. But again, I wanna keep it short so that I keep doing it daily. Day three songwriting, which is actually kind of just reading Wikipedia so far. Basically, Ada saw potential for a calculating machine other than calculating numbers. Now I gotta figure out the song. Part of the song. <laughs> we forgot we were gonna do it and I said, oh yeah, we gotta do the garage. And you were like, ah! But it's 10 minutes. <sighs> yeah. Tackling the big box. Two, one, go. Oh shoot. <sighs> it went to the garage. Let's go watch TV. <laughs> Operation Big Box of Crap, complete. Really do not feel motivated today at all, yet. It's only 10 minutes, almost to a full page of writing. It still feels like progress, even though it's this much. Age 14 and paraplytic. You have overalls. Overall, I'm okay with this. Minute 45 left. We did it. We did it. 
slowly when there's room, put them in that blue recycling bin every two weeks. I much rather would have done it this way than all at once. All at once. It's not like painting. I'd do that in 10 minute chunks. That would be a very bad idea. <laughs> You'd get out all your pain. Okay, this doesn't apply to everything, okay guys? <laughs> I have been thinking about this story all day, every day. I have a scene here. But this, I don't think this is the opening scene. I'm gonna move that block of text down, start a new beginning, get in there, half a page again. So in total, we may have a full page of writing, yet so much more in my head. This might be even harder because now I really like that verse and I don't wanna ruin it with other crappy parts. I need to have a better idea of who these characters are and their motivations. Cause really all I'm going on right now is just like an interesting plot structure. It's not enough. Time travel's hard, you guys. At some point, you have to just accept certain inconsistencies. Now I have a choice. I can continue brainstorming this or change it, move to a different story. I'll decide tomorrow. All right, I think I have a little bridge part. So after the verse. Maybe right after that it goes into a little chorus that's single chordy. Chocolate muffin. Celebration. I figured out what the problem is. At least I think so for now. These things change all the time. In order for the plot to work, the main character has to think something went wrong in their life and they want to go back and change it. Anything I come up with to me is like, that's not worth going back in time and upending your life. Too many variables. Who knows what would happen? It could get worse. Depending on how time travel works, it might be inconsequential. You might just go to another universe, all this stuff. But then I realize, I'm assuming that the main character is me. I wouldn't make such a bold decision to jump back in time to change my life. So I need to think of this character as someone else. And I'm thinking of lots of other decisive people in my life and I'm putting them together in this character and it's suddenly all starting to make sense and it's beautiful. This is why character is important and I have to have a good sense of them before I begin. Anywho, I'm gonna attempt to take this character and outline a whole new plot. Figuring it out, it's falling into place a little better. So that's seven days of 10 minutes for this story and I feel like I've made a ton of progress despite having no real actual pages that I love written. <laughs> It was a bunch of planning that needs to happen for this story to happen. Hopefully I can keep doing this 10 minutes a day. And yes, same clothes as yesterday. Haven't showered yet today. See? See the hair sticking up? Enchantress of Number. This is as far as we've got for this video. Not gonna lie to you, I worked on it longer than 10 minutes today because I felt like I was on a roll. <clears throat> I was on a roll until I tried to say on a roll just now. Pretty much all I got. I feel like we really made progress and this will eventually be a Driftless Pony Club song. Turns out 10 minutes a day works for me and I hope it works for you. Now, I would like to thank our sponsor, Audibly. Audible, I will thank Audible. Audible is a place where you can download audiobooks, bestsellers, motivation, mysteries, sci-fi, memoirs, coffee, particularly caffeine, how caffeine created the modern world. I'm listening to that one right now. It's really interesting because 
Caffeine created the modern Craig. How it changed the course of human history, won and lost wars. How the Industrial Revolution would have been impossible without it. I don't know if that means we're a bunch of lazy McLazos, but I've come to terms with it. I go for runs a lot, and I like listening to audiobooks rather than thinking about pain. Members get credits good for any audiobook. If you don't use it, it rolls over to the next month. If you don't like the book you got, you can exchange it for the credit back. And you own your book, and you keep it even if you cancel. No one does that. I canceled my gym membership once, and then I went there anyways and refused to leave, and then I got arrested. It really caused a lot of problems for me. So subscribe to Audible. Audible, you won't get arrested. And they have exclusive content like Audible Originals. Audible Originals. Stuff you can't get anywhere else. I just went to the grocery store. They didn't have any Audible Originals. You can get a 30-day Audible trial, choose one audiobook, and two Audible Originals. Audible Originals. Like caffeine for free. Visit audible.com slash wheezywaiter or text to 500-500 the word wheezy waiter. That's audible.com slash wheezy waiter. Text wheezy waiter to 500-500. That is all. You can watch my previous video about quitting alcohol for a month. YouTube thinks you'll like this video. I do a week daily vlog every single day for patrons over on Patreon if you want to support me. You can subscribe right there. And wash your hands. 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 And wash your hands.